today I'm going to talk about the Nomad chassis. I actually changed the wheel, so this is the the 5.4 wheel that comes with the with the Nomad, and it's a really good tire. I'm just putting a lot of extra weight on them, so I thought I would uh, put a firmer tire at a larger size with a um, larger wheel base. So uh, today I went with a 7.1 instead of a 5.4, and this is 3.8 inches wide. So they're extremely wide tires. I've actually extended the motor out quite a bit and I've used two separate mounts um, for the motor. And I've used all servo city components and the link will be down in the description. But I put 17 millimeter hex versus uh, I think the 15 that's on here. So they're Proline Rock Rage which was the biggest tire that I could find. I wanted to be able to hold a lot of weight so I've got four lipos in the chassis at this point and they fit really well so I wanted to uh, and I'm going to have a lot of computer hardware and stuff like that so I wanted to put uh, as much of a tire that I could use but it still needed to be soft I tried it, I tried other tires it needed some um, suspension into the tire itself so is what I did is I built some adapters uh, to actually bring the motor out and handle the weight so and by doing that, I'm able to actually take less load on the on the motor itself. So it does a pretty good job. I just thought I would share with the components uh, that I used. And these, every single one of these will have links down in the description so, so you guys could see them. I'll move the camera back and show you what it looks like after they're all attached. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the tires. Um, just so that you could see what they look like. I've actually got it on. I got the power and I've got them all attached. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the remote here. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. I actually have it on an ice cream bucket. <laughs> so. Just so that you can see them moving. They do really well. Yeah, so there we go. And then that sound you hear is the actually weight of the servos. Okay, so let's do the rundown of the arm assembly for the Nomad. Um, so I've taken the camera loose just so that I could show you specifically what it looks like. Um, got the par parallel gripper and then a servo block. Um, the servo I'm using is uh, HS645MG uh, which is an analog servo. And then I've got uh, the 5 8 inch tubing and then some adapters here, the 90 degree and then a riser uh, to keep it off off the um, off the gears here but I, I if you notice I don't actually have the servo to where it would go far out of the of the um, boundaries of the wheels and I've got that on purpose so that the arm can't tip over the Nomad so if we talk about I've got most of everything center mass so if you look um, it comes up below the lipos the four lipos inside the chassis it comes up and then it actually hangs over quite a bit um, and I've got that on purpose because I want most of the weight to be center mass over the top of the chassis all the cables I bought this in bulk uh, from Servo City and then is what I did is I terminated it and linked it to two X8R uh, receivers and those receivers are both um, bound to a Tyrannus radio so there it is right there and there's all the channels and here's eight channels here and then I have another eight channels in the back and I could using the Tyrannus I can go up to 32 channels so uh, the name of this gearbox uh, gearbox servo here there's two of them in use there's one up here or one down here below and then there's one inside this channel here so it's the um, SPG 400 ACM so um, and I'm using the 79, it's the 7950TH, so high torque. And then, um, so I'm going to use a spring and I'm going to keep this from getting inside the tire. Um, 
and then I'm going to zip tie the spring to um, the gearbox itself. There's the receiver. And here, this is actually a pan and tilt. These are two servo blocks and I'm doing pan and tilt. There's an adapter here and that will allow me to use a GoPro and hopefully see everything that the that the um, uh, parallel gripper kit assembly from Servo City is able to grab. Um, is what I want to do uh, the top here is when I attach the the arm processors or the little Linux computers I'm actually going to attach these to the top and I may actually make my own top for it just because I want even more options to mount things and then you can see how good of a fit the four lipos you can see the green blocks in there four lipos fit inside the chassis really well um, if you like what you saw today please subscribe uh, please share this video. Give me a like. Take care, guys. Have a good day.